In the wake of the depleted uranium test, this video is focused on another high-velocity 762 NATO round, Winchester's M948 Sabotage Light Armor Penetrator, the SLAP. This is the rifle-sized cousin to the larger 50 cal SLAP round, and these darts are made of tungsten alloy surrounded by a plastic sabo designed to more effectively penetrate armor. Tungsten sabos are also used to penetrate tank armor. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks, a free-to-play multiplayer game of over 100 million players that is available on PC. World of Tanks has substantially expanded since I played it a decade ago, with 800 tanks, armored vehicles, and self-propelled artillery pieces to play as. With diverse battlefields in urban areas, deserts, and forests, there are plenty of ways to defeat the enemy with a creative imagination and good understanding of the game's historically accurate vehicles. Download World of Tanks with the first link in the description of this video using the code COMBAT and get free 7 days premium access, 250,000 credits, the premium tank Cromwell B, and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each including Tiger 131, T-78, and Type 64. Playing World of Tanks will help you gain appreciation for the main use and purpose of tungsten ammunition. Something that a lot of more famous YouTubers have missed mentioning is that these rounds are equally an experiment in improved ballistic performance at range. There are significant advantages in velocity from using a sabotaged projectile going 1000 feet per second faster than normal ammo, with slap clocking in at 4000 feet per second. Winchester was also able to significantly reduce dispersion compared to conventional analogs. Millions of these rounds were produced and used by the US military for all purposes starting in the 80s. And although production and use of the 308 slap round in the US military has largely halted, it was also adopted by Sweden for use in their Accuracy International Arctic Warfare sniper rifles. 50 BMG slap, its bigger brother, is still in common use today. Ian from Forgotten Weapons mentioned that a large issue with this ammunition was the fact that it didn't play well with muzzle devices because of the Sabo disintegrating inside of them, as well as the potential of the Sabo failing within the barrel. This would cause the hard tungsten round to destroy the softer steel barrel as it ricocheted around on its way out. Purely by happenstance, I found an example of this happening with a Little Bird mounted minigun. This minigun also had a muzzle device mounted, though I'm unsure if the muzzle device in this case was the cause of the issue. The round exited the side of the barrel, leading to a shrapnel injury for the pilot. This display is located in the Southern Museum of Flight in Birmingham, Alabama. Ian and Carl's slab test used steel to test the armor-piercing effects and ended up with relatively disappointing results. Instead of steel targets today, we're going to test slap ammunition against highly rated ceramic armor plates, a Revision BX sappy plate, and an Adept Armor Colossus plate made of their silicon titanium technical ceramic blend. This company makes very high quality plates and has a lot of wacky ideas that I'm going to have to test, like these plates rated for 50 cal AP ammunition. Buffman Range has an extremely comprehensive test against the Adept Armor plates where they managed to stop 300 Winchester Magnum loaded with tungsten M993 projectiles as well as the powerful Ruag Swiss P tungsten rounds, and this was all tested on a single plate with no failures. Well, besides the 8mm SMK. Anyway, our first shots are going to be against the Revision B X Sappy plate. Rated for multiple hits of tungsten M993, Buffman also tested this exact revision and got some impressive results. Links to his videos are in the description. Good to go. Ready? Ready! <laughs> The x happy stopped what it's rated for, moving on to slap. Good to go. Ready? Ready. Firing. Perfect hit, and it looks like a penetration. Beauty. Oh, dude. Oh, is that the plastic? Yeah. Sabo? It's a part of the Sabo. That's sick. So the X-Sappy, in concert with the proper Kevlar, is unable to stop a slap hit. 
Moving on to the Colossus Plate, however, is where the annoying drama begins. The first plate I tried was the very same one that took the two depleted uranium pits. Focus. Damn. There we go. Ready? Ready! Fire in the hole! That's the pen. Charlie. Yeah. Oh cool, I got hit with the... Oh, it stopped it. Nice. It stopped in the Kevlar. This round penetrated the plate but was stopped by the Kevlar suggesting that it has some measure of strength beyond the x happy The Colossus plate is supposed to be standalone, however, so the Kevlar is more of an afterthought. I contacted Adept Armor and asked for a fresh plate to test. This plate stopped the first slap round. It might have shattered or tumbled against the plate. I really doubt it, but it might have even hit sideways. We followed up with another hit of M993. This M993 hit, however, penetrated, and as this plate is rated for the harder hitting Swiss P tungsten rounds, this failure is a very interesting result, but it causes more questions. Perhaps the first slap compromised the plate. To that end, I contacted Adept and they sent their plates to NDS Technical Systems in California for testing. Unfortunately, NDS forgot to record this test. And that does wonders for my self-esteem, knowing that a professional ballistics laboratory could still make mistakes like forgetting to hit the record button. NTS details that the first slap round penetrated the plate, and most interestingly, the second slap round did not. This round and the plate have extremely close margins, and it simply goes to show how strong the Colossus plates are. I'm glad I did my due diligence to make sure that there was some close margin thing happening here as opposed to something weird with my ammo. That's all the time I've got for Slap. Thanks again for World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Link is in the description. Thanks also to the patience of my patrons. Trust me, when I say some very interesting things are coming soon, I'd expect to see a return to form.